Once an engine attached to a train, the train has no drops of power. The head of the tank is quick for its funnel and never turn out again. The engine's name was Henry. His driver and fireman argued with him, but he would not move. The rain will spoil my lovely green paint and red stripes, he said. The guard blew his whistle till he had no more breath and waved his flags till his arms ached, but Henry still stayed in the tunnel and blew steam at him. I'm not going to spoil my lovely green paint and red stripes for you, he said rudely. The passengers came and argued too, but Henry would not move. The fat director who was on the train told the guard to get a rope. We'll pull you out, he said. But Henry only blew steam at him and made him wet. They hooked the rope on and all pulled, except the fat director. My doctor has forbidden me to pull, he said. They pulled and pulled and pulled, but still Henry stayed in the tunnel. Then they tried pushing from the other end. The fat director said, one, two, three, push! But did not help. My doctor has forbidden me to push, he said. They pushed, 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 but still Henry stayed in the tunnel. At last another train came. The guard waved his red flag and stopped it. The two engine drivers, the two firemen, and the two guards went and argued with Henry. Look, it stopped raining, they said. Yes, but it'll begin again soon, said Henry. And what would become of my green paint with red stripes then? So they brought the other engine up. And it pushed and puffed and puffed and pushed as hard as ever it could. But still Henry stayed in the tunnel. So they gave it up. They told Henry, we shall leave you there for always and always and always. They took up the old rails, built a wall in front of him and cut a new tunnel. Now Henry can't get out, and he watches the trains rushing through the new tunnel. He's very sad, because no one will ever see his lovely green paint with red stripes again. Edward and Gordon often went through the tunnel where Henry was shut up. Edward would say, peep, peep, hello. And Gordon would say, poop, 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 serves you right. Poor Henry had no steam to answer. His fire had gone out. Soot and dirt from the tunnel roof had spoilt his lovely green paint and red stripes. He was cold and unhappy and wanted to come out and pull trains too. But I think he deserved it, don't you?